Yo, nice. Got it. I, um... It might open up a bit more. It, it still could. Like, the game might still be, like... I can already see it being, like, less linear than the first one. Because the first one was, like, a day-to-day -day system, like, Persona. Which, again, I don't mind linear games. I definitely don't. I do appreciate games where you can, like, explore the world at your own will. But I don't have anything against games that are linear. FF10 is like that, where it opens up at the very end. But I don't have anything against games that are, like, linear. I mean, I play Persona. I play, like... I play Cold Steel. The games like that are fine. You nailed it, Reem. Might be wrapping up in like the next few minutes, chat, because like we're not we're almost at five hours. I think we're just gonna wrap up soon. Like once we get the Kel, they can see anything there. Probably oh, just gonna chest. wrap up. I wonder what's inside. Got an Earth Lance. Nice, nice. Let's just head back to Eldic and start doing that. The boy's getting a little hungry. Plus, we've been at it for a while, so I think it's a good time to wrap up. Got an eye drop, nice. Ha, sit. Bring it on. My turn. You are weak to earth. Sure thing. I mean, Tobal might get it first. Yeah, because he got zero arts. I mean, Reen's attack. Yeah, he didn't die though, so Reen will still get the kill. Ow. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, it's safe for now. All right then, let's go. I just want to see if we meet with a class seven member because one's supposed to be here. So hopefully we can meet with at least one class seven member before wrapping up. Hey, Keldick, it's been a while. It's been a while since the last time I was in Keldic. Those farmers said things were tense here, but I was expecting worse. Yeah, it doesn't seem that bad, even with the odd armored car here and there. That's probably evidence of how much this war is going in the Alliance's favor. So they've let that get to their heads, have they? We should start asking around to see if they can get, get anything out of the townspeople. Here's hoping someone knows something about the rest of Class 7. Right, oh, but one morning. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, but you're pretty high on the Noble Alliance's wanted list. Even if you're in plain clothing, try not to stand out too much, otherwise it's all over. Understood? Okay, let's get to work. Hey, there's a house right here. Oh, I really cannot be bothered with anything right now. Especially with the Grand Market as dead as it is. Is that Thor's uniform? I don't remember you, but maybe you're in the first game. Huh? Pretty sure I know you from somewhere. Black hair, diligent attitude. Green, is that you? Becky? You know her? Yeah, we're in the same year at Thor's. How'd you wind up here, Becky? Hold up, you're the one who should be explaining yourself to me first. You tell me all about the blondie here while you're at it. Okay, maybe we should all calm down a little first. Give her a brief explanation of how you came to visit Keldic. Well, I was... I was daft. I hate the way you talk. I was daft for thinking. I understand any of that. So basically, you're looking for the rest of Class 7. That's the gist of it. You managed to make it from Thor's to here on your own, right? Color me impressed. Truth is, Hugo secured a escape route for us. Oh, Becky! You're, um... I remember you. Becky and Hugo, they were the ones who were fighting for stalls with the uh, Academy Festival or whatever. I remember now. That's how I managed to make it all the way here. He was a student working at Kleist & Co, if I remember correctly. Helped, huh? Does that mean he's not here now? I got no idea what happened to him after that. But bam, cho- We bam- We bam- I hate the way you speak. I thought cool. Might be a little incentive to ask right now, but do you have any info about Thor's or other students? Anything on Class 7 in particular would be a huge help. The girl I escaped with is over at the church. Other than that, I got- Hee-haw. Well, I hate your dialect. The provincial army don't really care much about us normal students either. Really? I I was questioned a fair bit when I first got here, but after that they just let me do whatever. 
probably enough for them just knowing that they can keep an eye on you. The second you start acting suspicious, they can swoop in and toss you in the slammer. And they probably see Class 7 as the most suspicious of all. Yeah, I know we'll have to sleep with, not with one eye open around here. Well, thanks for letting us know, Becky. Just try to stay low. Lay low for now. Words. Aye, aye. That was the plan. Not like I got the motivation to do anything with the Grand Market in this sad state. Alright. What's up, small child? My sisters finally came back. I should never... I should have been happy, but I cannot have... I, yeah, I don't like your dialogue either. Lots of places to go. The Weathercock Inn is another one. And they said the chapel, didn't they? Yo, it has shop in the minimap. That's new. That's kind of cool. This is the Grand Market, huh? Pretty lively. Not as lively as it was, though. Oh, these guys drunk. This guy's drunk, maybe? Come on, we just want your company for a while. There's no need to resist, you pretty thing. You, we don't bite. My apologies, but I'm in the middle of doing some work for the church, and I happen to be underage, too, so... Come on now, no need to be so quick to say no. Just come to the guardhouse, pour us a few drinks, and you'll be fine. If you really don't want to come with us, we do have other options open to us. You'd be surprised how easy it is to being a girl like you, and we don't even have a... We don't even need a good reason to arrest you. But I... These guys for real? There has to be a way to stop them. Just kill them right here and now. Hold up, let me handle this. Goodness me, you wouldn't happen to be the soldiers from the provincial army, would you? Huh? Oh, lucky me. Couldn't have asked for a better timing. You see, I was kind of hoping for a teeny tiny favor from you guys. Who the hell are you? Beat it. Hey, hey, we're all friends here, right? Here, let me, let's roll out some introductions. Call me Phil. I'm just your average friendly contractor looking for some good business parsers, so to speak. <laughs> After hearing about your valiant accomplishment during the war, I just knew I had to work with you directly. That's why I was kind of hoping you put in a good word for me with the head honchos over at your guardhouse. Excuse me? And why would we ever do that for a lowly merchant? You sure... You sure you should be making that assumption? You could be missing out. I hate to brag, but my reputation's pretty up there. Who knows, you might even get your name out there for introducing me. Come on, don't let the guy down. Actually, here. Maybe this will help convince you. Oh, I'll slip the soldier some mirror. Now, wait a second. It's fine, it's fine. Think of it as a little gift if you want. So, what do you say, fellas? Good grief. Well, we got no reason to turn this gift down. Who was it? We'll pass your name on. But I wouldn't hold my breath. That's what I like to hear. Tova, you sly dog. Dude, Toval's great. Wow. Ta-da! Color me impressed. Tell me though, where'd Phil come from? It's the most basic name ever. It's just one of the names I used to go by. But hey, I managed to sort that out nice and discreetly, right? Versus like you definitely earned their name. Thanks for the help, Toval. I thought I was going to have to resort to force, but I'm glad you were able to resolve things without even having to reach your weapon. You know, I was going to say force was better, but having Toval do this was better. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, are you alright, sister? Yes, thank you very much for your help. Oh, is this another Class 7 uh, Thor student? Oh, is this Rosine? This might be Rosine. Green, what are you doing here? Rosine? Yup, right. I like this. We're getting to meet all the Thor students. It really rewards you. I didn't like... I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really talk to every single NPC. I know Trails is like a big reputation with talking to every single NPC, NPC and getting their story. But, like, I never really talked to, um... I talked to some NPCs, but I definitely never talked to them, like, heavily. I never focused on talking to NPCs, but... Doing the side quests, seeing all these students again, like, trying to reunite them is very cool. It's so rewarding for, like, if you did the side quest. I obviously stopped doing the side quest, like, in the last chapter, but... Like, it's so rewarding to, like, just see them around the campus and just, like... Coming to these towns and finding them, reuniting them all. Really neat concept. Oh, another acquaintance of yours? Yep, she's another first year like me. I'm glad to see you're safe and sound, Rosine. Likewise, would you mind accompanying me to the church? Staying here for too long may draw unwanted attention. Sounds good to me. After you. It's just so cool.
to reward it. I can imagine, like, if I did, it, it would take too much time. But if I did take the time to, like, talk to every single NPC, get all the character profiles, if I did, like, 100% the game, it'd be even more rewarding. Which, again, I'm not part of that group, but it's already rewarding for me. After they walked to the church, Reen took the time to explain how and why they were in Celtic. So, you're searching for the rest of Class 7. I could tell that you've been through some rather trying times. Well, I'm not the only one. Sounds like you had a rough two. You and Becky escaped together, didn't you? I hear Hugo's the one who's told you how, too. That's correct, though we did end up splitting up from, along, from him along the way. I've been taking shelter ever, here ever since. All while praying as much as possible for everyone else's safety. Any chance you heard anything about the other students or maybe even the academy itself? We're trying to figure out as much as we can. Unfortunately, I don't know anything. That's a shame, but the important thing is that you're safe. Actually, on that note, is the Provincial Army always that bad? Kind of messed up how they're getting flat out hammered in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, very unprofessional of them. It's a relatively common occurrence, yes. They'll often get drunk and start breaking things or take goods from people's stalls without paying. It's not as though the merchants can do anything to stop it either. Nobody wants to have their goods requisitioned. Sounds like the soldiers who aren't on the front lines have a lot of free time on their hands. Heldick hasn't been swept into a battle any battles so far so yeah well be sure to take extra care from here on out rosine and make sure to give the soldiers a wide berth thank you for your concern i'll be praying for you to be reunited with the rest of class seven soon thanks that makes two of us nice nice good stuff good stuff oh character notebook updated oh my you were accosted by soldiers i'm so sorry it's all because i sent you out on my steed please there's no need to blame yourself i should be the one apologizing for causing you so much trouble I'm terribly sorry I can't be of more help to you, but despite that, I'm sure it was the goddess will that we met today. I will be keeping- I will keep praying that you'll reunite with your classmates. Hang on, hang on. This is, like, really cool. I know this was in the first Cold Steel, but that's really cool. Like, obviously, I didn't do that much with Cold Steel, and obviously, getting their getting their character profiles updated, you probably can't do it without a guide, but that's really, really cool. Cold Steel... Cold Steel puts so much work into the NPCs, it, I, I just love it. Take that, you big dummo. If you want to get your revenge, you have to catch me first. Alright, weird kid. Oh. You wouldn't happen to be one of the students who sorted things out at the park earlier this year, would you? That's right. Wait, is that you, Johnson? Yo, this is someone who gave us a task. Dude, this is like so great if you talk to every single person. Someone you know? Yeah, we first met during our field study back in April. Looks like you kicked the drinking habit. Is it safe to assume that you got your job back? No, this is the guy who got... I remember this guy. This is the guy who got drunk on the near the highway. I do remember him. Oh man, I'm embarrassed you had to see me like that. You're right though, the market manager put in the good word for me, and before I knew it, I was a park ranger. Of course that hardly matters right now, and the park's closed due to this war. All I can really do at the moment is repair the front entrance. That's a shame. I hate to say it, but that works out in our favor. No risk of anyone coming across Valmar if it's closed. In the meantime, anyway, I doubt we'll be able to live, leave him in there for too long before someone notices. I'm gathering materials for my repairs to the park entrance, so I'll be in the Celtic for a little while. If you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks, we'll let you know if you need if anything comes up. Dude, this is really cool. I kind of like this. Like, I, uh, again, I didn't take all the time to talk to every single NPC and all that. But, like, it's really cool. Like, if you do put a lot of time into the game and, like, talk to every single... If you put, like, what? You'd have to put, like, 120 plus hours, 100 plus hours or something. But, point is, if you put all that time, you get rewarded with all these callbacks, seeing all these people... Also, the character notebook thing is really, really cool. It's really hard to do without a guide, though. So, you know, I'm going to talk to this person. I think we'll wrap up. Wait a minute. Are you one of Sarah's students? Oh, you're Margaret. Yeah, I remember you. You gave us our... You're the one who gave us our tasks. What are you doing here? With Toval, no less. Hello, ma'am. I see things haven't changed much here. Hey, Margaret. You looking well? The last time we saw each other was when I came for that request. Yeah, it's been a while. Toval sighed, shouldn't you be in hiding, young man? The provincial army was searching for you not that long ago. It'll be fine. I can kill them all if I wanted to. No one seems to suspect us yet, so we should be fine for now. I doubt they'll notice us for as long as we don't do anything too crazy. Well, if you say so. It's a relief to know you're okay. Are you going to be staying here? 
We're actually not really sure what we'll be doing for now. More important than what you're, where we're staying, there's something we'd like to ask you. So you're searching for your classmates. Based on what we know, they're somewhere around here. You wouldn't happen to have any leads at all, would you? Hmm, can't say I have, sorry. We barely get anyone new coming in as it is thanks to the train restrictions. And I would only be able to recognize the students who came with you last time. That's true. So Elliot. Elliot would be the only... Elliot? Who was it? Who was with this field study? Elliot? Dude, I can't think. Elliot? It was Elliot, Laura, and I think Elisa, right? That came to Celtic with us? Well, just knowing they aren't staying here is a big help. By the way, we had heard things that were pretty tense here, but seems to be relatively peaceful from what I can tell. Well, there hasn't been any direct effect on the town itself. Rumor has it there's fighting going on over near the eastern border, though. Over by Corellia Fortress? Yes, seems like the Imperial Army is holding their line of defense over there. Solid one at that, too. They say the Provincial Army is struggling to break through it. The Twin Dragons Bridge is over that way, too. They must be fighting with the troops there. Well, yeah, that's why a lot of us are worried. If they're fighting that close by, then who knows when Keldic will be caught up in it. That is an unfortunate possibility. The market manager's been doing what he can to prevent the worst, but the Provincial Army doesn't exactly inspire confidence in their willingness to keep us safe, you know? Only this war would be over and done with. I feel ya. Thanks for the info, Margaret. You be sure to watch your back, alright? Same to you two. Be careful out there. Alright, what now? What now? I think we're gonna wrap up here, actually, chat. Oh, never mind. Let's let them talk first. I think we asked almost all the townsfolk at this point. And yet, here we are with zip for clues. You sure they're really here? I kind of find it hard to believe your friends have gotten by without a single person noticing them. Valimar detected them, so they have to be somewhere in the area. If they're not here in the town, then... They're either on the highway or somewhere else in the general region, right? I hope they're holding up okay. Hey there! You two seem like you got some time to kill. Uh, we really don't, actually. Oh, it's, it's a kid. His name's Chris. How about picking up a copy of Imperial Chronicle? The latest volume's got a boatload of, boatload of handy information. That could help, actually. And it comes at the low price of 100 Mira. Not bad, huh? That's like crazy cheap. Uh, we gotta push you in here, don't we? Sorry, kid, we're kind of busy at the moment. Whatever, just take one already. You're gonna regret it if you don't. I mean it. It's gonna be nothing but regret. Just take your 100 Mira and leave us alone. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Thanks. Alright, peace out. He was just trying to make a quick buck. Sheesh, he really wanted that sale. Don't think I've ever seen someone that desperate to sell a newspaper before. He did have a point, though. Reading the newspaper is a great way to get a better idea of what's going on. True enough. Let's give it a read. Game, I, I kind of wanted to wrap up my stream. Oh, game, I... I don't... <laughs> Breaking! Noble Alliance force keeps winning. The Alliance works to eliminate rebellious elements all over the country. It's proceeding smoothly. Very smoothly, in fact, with the latest official announcement reporting that 60% of the country is now under their control. One victory after another, I went to interview some of the soldiers on the ground in the Western Front on ongoing battles. Standing in their base, it was easy to feel overwhelmed by the sight of countless soldats and state of military arms lined up. Not much about the superior... My goodness, so much reading. Okay. The commanding officer I spoke to had inspiring words about the war itself. The armored divisions of the former Imperial Army may have been elite, but they had no longer have a good cause to fight for. Now they're simply a disorganized rabble. Furthermore, the beloved General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardias are both heroically fighting on the front lines. There's like eight pages to this? Nah. Maybe they'll summarize it. Even Machias' dad has been arrested. I'm not reading eight pages of that. That's madness. So, all of a sudden, the Imperial Army and all the high-ranking reformists are traitors, huh? The Imperial Chronicle's not even trying to be impartial these days. It's safe to assume the Alliance has been complete control over it. Most likely. It looks like the Alliance is so sure of their victory, they're getting things ready for when the war is over. That's how to do it if you want things to go by your way. That's a cunning bunch. They're a cunning bunch, words. Huh? There's something struck on the last page. Oh, you're right. A piece of paper? 
Is this a map? Looks that way. It's of the East Room Highway. What's with all the random numbers and symbols on it? There's more stuff written on the back, too. The one who takes the queen holds the key to the king. Is this some sort of code? It's gotta be. Please tell me this isn't from someone who I think it is. It does resemble Phantom Thief B's usual weirdness. Oh, it's gotta involve Blue Blanc. Except, nothing's been stolen this time, so I doubt it's him. Actually, the symbols and layout remind me of chess. What do you think, Toval? Chess? Maybe. It does look like a chessboard. But wait, that must mean... Let's assume these colored letters each represent a chess piece. In which case, the white Q must represent the queen. Then there's black P and P. P and P representing the bishop and the pawn. Don't look at me, I don't know anything about games you people play. All you need to know is what is that he's onto something. Assuming your theory's right, then solving the message written on the other side shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, hopefully. You wanna head to the highway? It's the best lead we got? Alright, perfect. Try hand drawn map words. Uh so we go to the regular highway. Solve the riddle on the eastern highway. That was the western highway, we had to go in the eastern highway. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up here, chat. This is a good place to wrap up, I think. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go eat something, but yeah. Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, hope you all enjoyed these, this, uh, first stream of Cold Steel 2. Cold Steel 2, really good game so far. It's, um, it has a better start. The first one, like, the first one's good. I do like Cold Steel 1 still, but, like, I definitely think that, uh, Cold Steel 2 is better pacing so far, and the start is, seems great. Um, you know, after ending on a cliffhanger from one, so I feel like that's to be expected. But like, yeah, this game is really good so far. Some of the quality of life improvements to Cold Steel 1, I look forward to going further in. So next time we should, I hope, we definitely should be able to find at least one Class 7 member, because it seems like someone's in the Celtic region, so we'll do that. But yeah, when we come back next time, we'll do that and see how it goes down. Hmm. There'll be no stream, there'll be no stream tomorrow and Monday. And I think I'll be back on Tuesday. I'm not sure if I'll be back with Cold Steel 2 or something else. We'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.